If you approached the Earth from space and looked down over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, you may be forgiven for thinking it was a planet covered by water, one of the most important compounds in the cosmos and essential for life itself. This three-part series will document water's cycles, the myriad of creatures that live in it, and the battles being fought for its future in stunning high definition. The series will be informative, yet be entertaining, part celebration of the beauty of what can be seen beneath the surface, and part a call to arms, that unless we stop the plundering of the seas, our own future could be in doubt. Using specially shot presenter-led sequences and exclusive HD footage from the BBC's Natural History Unit, this series will include astonishing clips and never-seen-before footage from award-winning series such as Planet Earth and The Blue Planet, showing the entire water story in three one-hour primetime episodes, one program on the science and story of water, one on its incredible wildlife, and one on man's relationship with water. Although water is tasteless and colorless, it has shaped the evolution of our world. It is strange to think that out of every glass of water we drink, some of that water has already passed through other people, fish, trees, and even dinosaurs. Water is the world's most precious compound, and yet it falls free from the skies. On a cloudy day, there are trillions of gallons of water suspended as vapor over our heads. The fact that we now spend more money on a liter of drinking water than we do on a liter of petrol is proof of how precious this natural resource has become. Water has always held a fascination for us, from the first attempts to irrigate in ancient civilizations. We now use it not just for quenching our thirst, but for recreation and fun, as well as for extreme sports. Man's mastery is such that we can now alter the course of whole rivers, reclaim the seabed, and harvest fish using satellite technology and nets 65 kilometers long. But have we gone too far? As scientists warn us of irreparable loss of species and the effects of global warming, is it already becoming too late? There is an area in the Pacific Ocean twice the size of Texas, covered with floating plastic bags, bottles, and tangled fishing nets. Similar garbage areas can be found in other seas too. Wave action has broken down some of this plastic into minute particles, so that in some areas there is six times more plastic than plankton. Our presenter will uncover epic stories of water's complex relationship with mankind, from drinking million-year-old water from beneath the Sahara to watching cloud seeding pilots bringing new rain to California. Conservation groups have found that people view water issues as the planet's top environmental problem, greater than air pollution, loss of habitat, and even climate change. Water covers over 70% of the planet's surface and there are 54 billion gallons for every human. That may sound like a lot, but one billion people live without access to clean water, and 2.6 billion lack adequate sanitation. Water scarcity undermines health and perpetuates poverty. Planet Water launches to raise awareness of water-related issues that will drive positive changes in behavior, policy, and will achieve large-scale impact. <laughs>